Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 3 video because today I thought it'd be really fun to kind of go back to my roots of playing The Sims 3 and just chilling and vibing with the current household I've been playing for the past couple of months. So personally, the way I play The Sims 3 is probably not the way you play it, but this time around I was trying to do something different, not to my normal gameplay. Like I usually do like one Sim, have kids, get married, you know, the whole thing. But this time around I was like, let's start with one Sim, play for a couple of days, to see if I, you know, lose interest, which I did. And so I was like, let's start some affairs and some chaos and some ruckus in the neighborhood. So that is what I did. So my sim here, Ingrid Wolf, who's currently at work meeting coworkers, had an affair with their next door neighbor who was already married and, you know, having a kid at some point soon, had an affair got pregnant, had Maxwell Wolf. Little did I know a couple of days afterwards, my gang was like, you know what? Affairs, marriage, not working out great. So they split them up completely, moved them to different houses. But little did I know is that my baby daddy's ex-wife lives next door to our current house right now. So Alana McNeil, Dorsey lives over here. And then our baby daddy lives over here in this house. So we're like, we're not that far away, but like we're close to kind of getting to know each other. But what's so sad though about Maxwell is that he doesn't know his own father, but he also does not know his half sister. And so I kind of want to get to know them a little bit better and kind of see what they're up to and all that jazz. And honestly, not going to lie, the fact that his father is a warlock and I believe his sister is also maybe a fairy because his ex-wife was a fairy. And so we have a fairy for a half sister and then a warlock for a father. But what's even funnier though, Maxwell is neither. He's a full-fledged human right now because his mother, Ingrid, is also a human. But we just got our flu shot today, which is really nice because it's the winter time and it's getting a little bit crazy out here. Now, since Maxwell is like a photographer's eye and he's a child right now, we don't really need any of this toddler stuff anymore because I plan on not having any more kids per se, like not even in the slightest. So we're gonna get rid of all this toddler stuff, which honestly is like a good thing because I kind of want to expand bit more and maybe build out the house but we already have a second house to begin with we have two homes this one and like another one across town let's check our um, messages on our own dying dating profile because i don't think we got any messages but it could be happening what do you mean you're in big trouble young man you better not do that again maybe you should help get a should help around the house to get on my good side what did i do for skipping school it was a snow day. Oh, wait, maybe it wasn't. Maybe we should do our homework and um get that done. <laughs> My bad. Well, apparently it wasn't a snow day, but how could I have known? I didn't know. We have, wait, whoa. We have $34,000. We're in debt. We took out a loan for that much money. Ooh, we are. Check our balance real quick and also make a deposit. Max Wellington, wake up because it might be a snow day for you. It's pretty heavy outside. Let's go check the TV and turn this on and check the weather and see what it's like. Because it's right now 27 degrees Fahrenheit, four days up until spring. And it does look really, really bad outside. So maybe, just maybe, we check the weather and see what's happening. Oh, these temperatures are terrible. 23 degrees Fahrenheit in the 20s of like the next like three-ish days. Friday is 14 and sunny. 63 on Sunday, then back to 46. Okay, that sounds like Illinois to me. We go from like the high 70s back down to like the 30s and like this make no sense. The other thing I did want to mention is that we actually own another lot, which is right over here. So when I first started playing the save file, I had already lived in another home, which was this one right here. And it was a one bedroom, one bathroom home. And it was getting too crowded when we added in a pet and then a child to the mix. So I thought, let's leave this property open to ourselves and kind of still pay the bills over time and buy new property. So we kept this home just for the sake of, you know, if Maxa wants to move in, whenever he wants to go to university or not go to university and just needs a place to stay for the time being. And I kind of grow his own family if he wants to do that. But we kept this home just because I think it's nice and quaint and very, very cute. And it just seems very subtle enough to kind of keep it for the time being. Okay, Ingrid, since Maxwell is at the stadium for that sports game they wanted to go to today, we have a little bit of extra time on our hands to see the sights, to see the people. So maybe, just maybe, we can probably, I don't want to go to the bookstore or the day spa, but I have been dying 
dying to go over to this like rose and lounge, but I wanted to go over to this like like wine cellar place over here to get some wine and see what we can get out of it because I want to be able to kind of get all this profit out of, you know, who is this? Bobby Barton, Bobby Barton, you ran away from home. You look like a raccoon from far away. So I wanted to have Irene go over to like this wine cellar bar place just because I knew for a fact it was very lively over here and happy hour is just over. I could have sworn there was like a wine cellar or something around here, but apparently there wasn't. I guess I have to add one in or I'll just build my own like wine cooler cell place. That way my Sims can go here whenever they want, especially if Maxwell's going to be a world traveler photographer. He must get all the grape wine from France and bring it back home to Abusa Plains in the local, you know, wine cellar if he's going to make profit out of it. But apparently there's a unicorn sighting over here. And you know what's so funky is that unicorns are very rare to find in The Sims 3 and they came with The Sims 3 pets, I believe. I don't remember, but it's been so long and I love unicorns in The Sims and we've never had them other than The Sims 3. Plus we never had horses ever until The Sims 3. So what I would love to see is that maybe horses or unicorns could come back and be a thing in The Sims 4 one day. But please, let me sniff my hand, please. There you are. Hello. What's happening? What's going on? Hello? Um, what's happening? Is the, is the unicorn going potty? Uh, what just happened? I'm a little bit concerned and confused. What is happening? So while Ingrid's basically, you know, hanging out with the unicorn, I want to pick out a spot where I can put like this wine cellar place, which I'm thinking of putting it over here in this general area because it already has like this open field right here, which would be a really good spot to kind of make a home and like a whole little wine like community out of it in like the farm place of Appaloosa Plains. But I want like a smaller area nearby. So... Oh, I can put it over here into the lake. Wait, this is way better. Okay, let's do this over like slightly off the lot, which would be okay. Because the rest part of this part over here is hills and I don't want to have hills. Not in my area. Unless I can put it over here. No, we'll put it over here. It'll be fine. I think that would be like a nice little general area to build like a little wine cooler cell place. But let's change the lot zoning to something different. That way we have a little bit more control of what it is. It's a community lot and we'll change it to, what are these places called? Oh, a nectary. That's what it's called. Yeah. So this will be a, a nectary that we'll have to build later, which I will do it for a video, but I am very curious on how this is going to turn out because one, I have not built a community lot in The Sims 3 in a very long time. And two, I kind of want to have like this spot over here be like a community place where this part right here is a junkyard, which could be a good thing and a bad thing for us. So I might renovate it to be different. And then this part over here could be like a wealthy family home called, I don't know, Ashland Farm, whatever it's called. So the Ashland family lives over here. They own like the little wine cellar over here with this like junkyard converted into a barn. And then maybe own like this property over here. I don't know. I just want to have like something that makes sense for my save file for my everyday gameplay. So that's what I'm thinking. This could also like be another nectary place that they could also own. But I think I might change this too, actually. Um, because this is like a, this is more of like a general like countryside. So maybe this could be like into a, a resort because the other bed and breakfast is already over here, actually, and that's a resort. And so making this like a small like bed and breakfast could be really good for us to build some profit in the countryside. So we'll do that here and have the nectary over here. And the house here and then maybe like another house over here could be good for us too. That's going to be really good for us. So I can definitely see Ingrid like, you know, being an old grandma or like an old elder, kind of just running around the town, getting to know the people. Because Ingrid's almost an elder, like I said. We have like eight days left until we're an elder. So we have a lot less time of our use to begin with. Maxwell, he's going to be a teen in like three days. And so like having like these different properties like the Nectary and also like some other spots could be really good for us for like photography reasons. So that could be a good thing for us. Also, I don't know what that was. Wait, did we become good friends with the with the unicorn? <gasps> we saw a unicorn for the first time. Babies. 
was the only word Irene Barton Wolf and Garrett Barton Wolf could say when they asked when, wait, why they were beaming. Apparently, there is a new bundle of joy in, the, in their future. Irene is pregnant again? Wait, my child got arrested? Don't fret, your children will be in the good hands with me. I'll get to your house as soon as I can. Zoe, are you okay? You're just running around in circles. You're literally just running around in an actual circle. Zoe, is everything all right? Are you okay? You can go ahead and guard the house if you want to. And we're getting a phone call apparently? Why is that? Maxwell, would you like to come answer the phone please? But I'm gonna have Ingrid come back home though. Oh, you're answering the phone. Who is it? Your boyfriend? Your girlfriend? Who is it? Who was on the phone, Rachel? I also realized to get rid of all those like dirty like dishes, I might as well go ahead and invest into like a simple, nice, calming dishwasher. Cause I'm not joking. I always forget to like throw away my trash in the Sims all the time. Plus we don't even have a trash can. What is this household? Okay, well, first and foremost, we're gonna actually get um, a recycling bin outside. And then we're going to get a dishwasher inside. That way we have at least something to do. Because I really don't have my Sims wash the dishes at all. So doing that will save us a lot of time and effort. Let's put this in here and put that in there too. Put this in here. But something's spoiled in here. And what is it? Oh, not the spoiled mac and cheese. Throw that away. Thank you. That's weird. Let's have some grilled cheese in here too. We're just going to throw everything away at this point because we don't really need it right now. So clean it up. Thank you, Maxwell. Oh, Terrence got a job. Is Terrence married? But Rachel, can you go home though? I mean, Ingrid's basically already here at this point. She's getting close though. I don't know. But Maxwell, it is your bedtime. You have school in the morning because tomorrow should not be a snow day. And maybe, just maybe you'll meet some friends at school. But I can never guarantee that. Ingrid, you are also very tired. So you can also head to bed as well. And Zoe, where are you at? You can stop running around. You need to get inside. And you can also go to bed. You're an elder. You're getting elderly. I must protect you at all costs. So please come inside, my, my dear, dear child. Thank you. Thank you. But either way, as always, I'm going to leave this video off right here. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below, as always, of what your thoughts of The Sims 3. Have you played it before? Have you not played it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I want to know. Because personally... I play The Sims 3 every once in a blue moon on my own free time or in a video or on stream. So it's like not a regular, like, you know, game I'll play all the time. However, I do love adventuring back into the open world aspect and seeing all the chaos that will be happening in my neighborhood all at once, which is also a good and bad thing. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.